it's Eric again, this time in a beautiful hop field. In this video I'm going to be talking about the kind of slings we use in our industry. And yes, we are still talking about events rigging. Steel wire rope, polyester round sling, steel wire round slings, flat webbing slings, and chain slings. Steel wire rope slings with a pressed eye termination are amongst the commonest rigging accessories that we use. They are reasonably fireproof, but the aluminium ferrules used to form the eyes will be weakened if they are exposed to heat especially from the latest generation of high-power lighting fittings. If used as a basket arrangement around a beam, they must be protected from sharp edges by a good thickness of burlap to make the turn gentle at the beam edge. If choked, it is important that the first bend in the wire rope is not too close, not within two centimeters or so, from the ferrule, as this creates a weak point. If used to sling flown aluminium structures, the hard steel of the sling can easily damage the soft aluminium of the truss. Many people use a clear plastic sleeve to protect against this but this practice is forbidden in certain countries because of the increased risk of trapped moisture causing corrosion and increased difficulty of inspection. These plastic sheaths are not good enough protection against a sharp beam edge. They are similarly common items and have some advantages over steel wire rope. They can make a tighter turn with less reduction in strength and create a much softer, reduced pressure point in contact with aluminium. They are, however, very much less resistant to heat and so should be avoided where this is a factor, particularly nearer to pyrotechnic effects. The outer sheath protects the inner load-bearing yarns from abrasive damage, tight bends, and particularly to exposure from UV light, so that any damage making the inner core visible must lead to removal from service. In recent years, more and more productions have moved away from using polyester round slings in favor of steel cord round slings. Here, the outer sheath contains a large number of thin wire rope cores. These are slightly more fire resistant than the polyester, but slightly susceptible to weakening at tight turns, but they will endure higher temperatures for a much longer time than the polyester versions. Because steel is not affected by UV, they can have a Velcro flap here so that the entire length can be inspected. They do, however, suffer from corrosion when they get wet in outdoor conditions and should be allowed to dry properly and thoroughly before any long-term storage. The flat webbing slings, these are less commonly used than the items shown so far and are available in nylon and polyester. Polyester is more common. Over sharp edges, they should be sheathed to protect their strength, their working temperature, the recommended limit is 100 degrees centigrade. Chain slings. Most commonly, 
chain slings are used as an adjustable device. Long link chain cannot comply with EN818, but it is a valuable adjustment component if used correctly and with an appropriate method statement. Chain is of course the most fire resistant sling component available to us. All lifting components must be identifiable and be subject to a recorded inspection schedule compliant with current legislation or even more stringently if risk assessment dictates it thus.